What is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to tech Kiran YouTube channel if you're a user of Redmi Note 8 as you already know many custom rooms available based on Android 11 and if you're looking for a unique custom room this might be one of those it has some unique kind of features a very good kind of performance good kind of battery backup a lot more things in this custom room as you can see new kind of UI new settings and a lot more things which you get in this custom room everything seems to be working almost everything is great performance etc everything is up to the mark i'm going to share with you the review and installation of this descendant os which is official build available for the redmi note 8 users it is already officially available for the redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max and poco m2 pro and i already made a video on that one too if you haven't checked it out make sure to check out that one and that also has some little bit of bugs and etc i already shown you and like the chrome was not working which is working in this build for redmi note it's better than the Redmi Note 9 users or Mia Tool users. Let's find out. Let's get started. So Descendant version 11 based on Android version 11. This is the latest official build. This is actually a second or third build of Descendant OS. The first one was initial build which contained some little bit of bugs or a little bit of disadvantage obstacles kind of things which you get in this build. But this one is the second or third update with almost everything seems to be fixed here. Everything seems to be working. By default the wallpaper expectedly same wallpaper which you get every time even with the Descendant version Android 10 you already get this wallpaper in descendant version 11 you also get this wallpaper almost in every kind of device also this redmi note it also got this wallpaper redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 pro max and all those devices also has the same wallpaper and maybe other devices also has the same wallpaper i think they should change i personally don't like this we have many things this is the default launcher it comes with the google apps build by default but does not come with that pixel launcher pre-installed and this is the thing which was same in and which was same for the mutual devices also and for other devices also but the best part is you have the custom icon pack support option available you can simply download icon pack from the google play store and apply that so this seems to be better because pixel launcher does not have this option of icon pack so i'm not saying that if it does not contain the pixel launcher then it's not good it's why it's quite good it has some features also but the thing is if you get the google apps build in most of the rooms you have the option of pixel launcher by default but it does not contain that okay so that's not a big case now move on to our quick settings if you're looking for other things wait let me just finish set up once or remind me later because i tried yesterday and just used that one and if you go for the quick settings you already got to know that this brightness slider which is looking really good this is not kind of brightness slider which you get in almost every kind of custom room ui seems to be same here if you're looking we have the custom fonts applied so far and yes these are the options available in the settings also you can apply the custom fonts this mini status bar option is available here we also the weather related things available here and this is better because i didn't saw this kind of thing in any kind of aosp based custom room yet Yet. the timing also is good here we have the, almost everything one thing let me show you if you ever use internet speed meter light app this is the internet speed meter light which i was talking about this is an android app which is available on the google play store for free but the thing is you get the speed meter on your status bar but in this room we don't have the speed meter we only have the notification icon speed meter is working fine no issues here and there but the thing is it's not showing the speed meter it's just showing the icon instead of the speed meter so not saying that this is bad or this is good but these are the things which you get in this custom room also let me show you the battery backup first to fall the idle drain is just great 0.16 percent per hour and and today morning it was at 0.09 percent per hour which is mind blowing and active drain is just great approximately seven to eight percent per hour and with 4000 mh battery it seems to be really good and the, also the best part is it has some hidden features which is called descendant guardia i'll share with you very soon about this feature from going into settings let's take a look at some the ui things which you get by default as i already told you the default launcher is not the pixel launcher but the quick step launcher with some modifications you can say we have almost every app installed which i use in my daily life and i've tested tried and everything is working till now 
almost every app is working fine here the bug which i got in the mu tool was google chrome was not working but right now in this build me in this redmi note 8 build google chrome etc seems to be working no issues everything is working fine here wikipedia i'm using any kind of website didn't got any issues so google chrome is working fine that might be only the device thing but yes it's good here other apps i've tried i have a lot of g cams option available three g cams here we have the pixel cam option available here too this one is what i was talking about every kind of camera i have installed till now is working fine here let me show you the cameras we have this one is the camera google camera greatness edition if i am not wrong and almost every gcam is working fine here i didn't got any issues this one is a gcam 8.1 if you don't know about the gcam 8.1 i have a dedicated video on this gcam 8.1 make sure to check out that one and the gcam 8.1 is working fine here i didn't got any kind of major issues video mode etc everything seems to be working so this seems to be good here other things uh, the most important things which you were looking for are working fine here so i don't think so there is no reason of using this is using this room or not but I didn't try it out the safety net status till now if I go for the Magisk manager I have installed the modded Magisk you can install the latest Magisk 21 or 20 21.2 21.3 whatever else you want to if you don't know if you're a Redmi Note 8 user if you don't know how to install that because if you install the Magisk Suite 21 by default it will be booted into fast boot and if you don't know how to install that it's quite easy I have a dedicated video on that make sure to check out that one and yes I've installed the modded Magisk so unfortunately the safety net is not passing but you can try out the magic hide props and you can use the latest safety net fix there are many fixes for that i didn't try it out that unfortunately but yes you can go give it a try moving on to the settings and let's take a, a little bit of good look little bit of look at the features brief look at the features we have network and internet connected devices and everything which you get in the android 11 builds so far but what is unique in this build let me show you first of all the descendant health this is not the feature this is a very good kind of information kind of thing informational app you can say where you will see total cases of covid 19 right now in india and this seems to be really nice total cases critical cases cases today deaths today these are every time zero i tried that on my redmi note 9 pro also but these are showing good notification we also have the health options available sleep notification and screen on notification so these are some good kind of things now we have the things let me show you which thing i was talking about if you go for the privacy we have the descendant guardia option available what is this actually I didn't saw this feature anywhere else and this feature might be available in the Redmi Note 9 Pro also. I hadn't checked it out but now I have checked it out. We also have the alerts option. Why this option is available? Enabling Descending Guardia will help you being aware about when your apps request permissions even in the background and yes it will show you the notification every time here. It will look for the apps whenever an app requests a permission for your from your device or whatever things you will see the pop up there. We have the option to show the whitelist like we can whitelist our Google apps because Google apps normally requires permissions. We can whitelist the system apps also. Alerts related thing is quite good. You will see alerts every time whenever an app requests a permission from you this is just mind-blowing feature but if you enable the alerts you'll see every time pop up pop up pop up so of course that's not recommended but as the feature is available and which is quite good and these are some cool kind of things which you get here other things are same here if you're looking for some features it comes with a little bit of features if you go for the battery backup as i previously told you we have same kind of things including the descendant idle manager option is available here too we have the apps and notification where we have the same kind of feature the notification history which is one of the great features in android version 11 other things are fine here but the thing which i was looking for unfortunately we don't have the advanced restart option available i don't know why but yes it's not available but we have the device controls option is available as you can see you can enable the cat controls very easily by going here click on save and yes it's done we can simply enable these options if you're looking for it if you're not looking for it it's up to you other things have the same kind of things xiaomi parts has the same kind of features it does not include the enable usb fast charging option but yes it's up to you security has the face lock fingerprint etc available but does not have the app lock option okay that's also not a big deal but yes 
all the things I just want to share with you are available. I already shown you. These were the things I just want to let you know. I am not going to share with you the installation, unfortunately, because I don't have that room file. But as I previously told you, it comes with the Google Apps pre-installed. So yes, you just need to install the zip file and you are good to go. Install the zip file, Google Apps are included. If you're looking for Magis, you need to install the modded Magis for that by default first. And then after installing it, you'll be able to install the Magis V21, the latest version. You can try out some safe net passing things and might be banking apps will work, will work for you. Everything else is great. This room is one of the great custom rooms I have ever used, especially for the Redmi Note 8. If you're looking for it, link is in the description. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.